two favorite words problem solving that's right because that's really what math is it's about solving problems and i just like that i think you guys do too anyways it's lesson 2.9 woohoo and look at our topic of course it says problem solving but look at the topic it's about division which is what we've been focusing on this chapter hello that's right so now we look at our learning target our purpose it's the essential question it says how can the strategy draw a diagram help you solve a division problem? I remember this when I was in school, even way before Common Core even existed, is drawing a picture of a math problem helps so much. So when I think of that strategy, draw a diagram, I like it. Now, let's go ahead and, oh, what? Huh? Wait a sec. My crew is saying, oh, that's right. We have to unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Ooh, that almost sounds kind of creepy. Ooh, I scared myself. Okay, this is Sean and his family chartered a fishing boat for the day. Chartered, kind of like rented, right, for the day. Sean caught a blue marlin and an amberjack. Oh, my goodness. Two fish. The weight of the blue marlin was 12 times as great as the weight of the amberjack. Hmm. The combined weight of both fish was 273 pounds. Whoa. How much did each fish weigh? Whoa, what a great problem. Okay, well, that's a lot to take in. It's definitely sounding like algebra, doesn't it, a little bit? Just the way uh, 12 times is something else. But you know, after reading it, and I was comprehending little pieces of the problem, typically, you know, we try to circle the things that we're going to use. You know, we underline what we're trying to find out, those kind of things. But in this problem, this is what I'm thinking. And I am thinking algebra, but in a real simple way, because it says here that the weight of the blue marlin was 12 times as great as the weight of the amberjack. They're comparing these two fish, the blue marlin and the amberjack. And by the way, I have no idea what an amberjack is. I would have to look that up. Amberjack? Never heard of it. These must be these people like the deep sea fishing kind of people. Definitely heard of a blue marlin, but an amberjack? I'll be Googling that later. So they're comparing those two fish. Now what's interesting is it says it's 12 times as great as the weight of the amberjack. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm just thinking if we were to just say, if we were to use representations, we could like just make a box to represent the one fish, the amberjack, and then, well, 12 boxes would equal the blue marlin because we're just saying it's 12 times as much. So we kind of almost think of that symbol. If we just say you're one box because you're just one and we're going to compare to that and now we say that the blue marlin is just 12 times that. Well, if you're one box, well, then I'm 12 boxes. And then, of course, one is one box. If the amberjack is one box and the blue marlin is 12 boxes, how many boxes do we have all together? Right. 12 plus 1. Yes, 13. So that just means that those 13 boxes are going to equal 273 because the problem says the combined weight of both fish was 273 pounds. But our job is how much did each fish weigh? We have to figure out how much the amberjack weighed. Once we figure that out, then we can figure out what the blue marlin weighed. So I hope that was helpful. Now let's go ahead and move on down to read the problem. Well, first things first, this is what do I need to find? Well, I need to find the weight of each fish. Remember that in the problem. Let's write that down. Cool. Now it says, what information do I need to use? Well, it says here, I need to know that Sean caught a total of, remember the pounds? 273 pounds of fish and the weight of the blue marlin was remember 12 times as great as the weight of the amberjack how will i use the information why well, can use the strategy remember yeah it was in the essential question draw a diagram Woo -hoo. 
and then divide. I can draw and use a bar model to write the division problem that helps me find the weight of each fish. Now we move to solve the problem. So we have a pretty good idea and I kind of explained what we're getting ready to do here a little bit as I read the problem. It says, I will draw one box to show the weight of the amberjack. We talked about that. Then I will draw a bar of 12 boxes of the same size to show the weight of the blue marlin. This makes sense to me because it's saying, hey, you're 12 times more than me. Okay, well, I'm gonna say that you're this and then we're just gonna do 12 copies of that. And that's kind of a way of looking at it. It says, I can divide the total weight of the two fish by the total number of boxes. So I'm gonna come over here to see the work. So you can see, I don't know how much the amberjack weighs, but now that I know that it's 13 boxes, you can see in our problem here, we have the total weight and it's being divided by the 13, the 13 boxes. They went ahead and took that first digit, put in the quotient to two and the two times 13 is 26. So now I just have to subtract. So I only have one, I have one left over. Now I'll go ahead and I bring down my three in long division. This is what we do. Oh, look how nice that is, huh? 13 goes into 13. One time. My goodness, this has to be the fastest division problem I have ever done. Now I have 21. So that means then that each box is 21. Well, if the amberjack is just one box, then he's 21 pounds. But it means that all of these boxes, because they were all made the same size, that's right, each one of them is going to have a 21 inside the box because they're all equal, all right? This is division, we made equal. In this case, we actually made equal sized groups. Write the equation in each box, I did. Multiply it by 12 to find the weight of the blue marlin. All right, let's do that. So we're gonna take the 12 times as much. Remember, the weight was 21 pounds. So we're just gonna multiply that to find the weight of the blue marlin. Here we have two, we multiply our ones. Now we go into the tens place, which is just one. We need our placeholder. That's right, we have to put a placeholder in there because now we're gonna start multiplying the tens. We want to make sure that our place value stays uh, in the right column. Two times two is four, and then two times one is two. Now we add, now I have two, I have five, I have two, it's 252 pounds. Oh my goodness. So the amberjack weighed 21 pounds and the blue marlin weighed 252 pounds. The blue marlin weighed 252 pounds. Obviously, if I just add on that one amberjack, look what happens. We get right back to our 273 pounds. Okay, in a way of just kind of checking your work so that that way, okay, everything looks kosher. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now, time to move to the next page. Page master. Woohoo, what do we have here? Ooh, try another problem. Okay, this one says, Jason, Murray, and Dana went fishing. Dana caught a red snapper. Jason caught a tuna with a weight three times as great as the weight of the red snapper. Murray caught a sailfish with a weight 12 times as great as the weight of the red snapper. If the combined weight of the three fish was 208 pounds, how much did the tuna weigh? Ooh, oh no, my head went dizzy on that one. Hey, somebody, give me something to hold on to. Yeah, I thought I was gonna fall on that one. Well, it may seem difficult, but we know it's not. Well, it's just like the last problem. Except now we have, yeah, we have like three people involved here. You know, the last one was just two fish. Now we have three fish. We have a red snapper, a little red snapper right here. I'm just circling the fish because it's fun. There's the tuna. And then of course, what was the other one? The sailfish, oh my goodness, there's like three. The red snapper, everything was being compared to the red snapper. So we can almost think that the red snapper is that one single box. Cause Jason caught a tuna with a weight of three times. So that means the tuna is gonna have three boxes. And I'm not gonna write all these out, but I just want you to start to visualize this now before we start to do the work. And then of course the sailfish is gonna have 12 boxes, right? I'll just do dots. So you can see how this is going to look. The combined weight, we did that too. In the last problem, 273 pounds. On this one, 208 pounds. Okay, so that's our problem. So now it says, read the problem. Yep. What do I need to find? In this particular one, it asks us just to find the weight of the tuna. Cool. What information do I need to use? Well, I need a lot of information. I need the combined weight of the three fish. I also need um, to use the fact that the tuna is three times the weight of the red snapper. And you know, I'm gonna kind of continue this on because I can see I'm gonna run out of space here, but I'm gonna go and the sailfish 
This is what you do when you run out of room. You have to try to get right to the point. And the sailfish is 12 times the weight of the red snapper. Oh, my pee didn't work out. Okay, woo, period, very long. How will I use the information? Well, just like last time, I can draw a bar model and divide to get the answer to solve the problem. Okay, a little sloppy, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now it's time to solve the problem. Okay, just like last time, we can go ahead and draw a bar model. I'm going to show the red snapper. It's RS. Uh, tuna I can spell out because pretty short. And then the sailfish, we'll just put S, F. How about that? And remember, we decided that the red snapper was just one box. The tuna was three times, and we started to draw this up above. So I'm just going to draw it three times to show that. that it's three times the weight, and the sailfish is 12. So this one's going to get a little bit longer. Whoo, super long. Okay, so let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Looks like I have 12 boxes there. Now I have to remember that this is like an last diagram. All of that is equal to 208 and I'm going to abbreviate here, pounds. That's how much it weighed, all of that together. So in a sense here, we have the, the one box, which is the red snapper, plus the three boxes, which is the tuna, plus the 12 boxes, which is the sailfish. All together, we're going to have 16 boxes. And what that means is we're taking that total weight of 208, the total pounds, and we're going to divide that by 16, which is going to give us the weight of just the one box. Okay, this is what division is. Now it just so happens that we're gonna get the answer of the red snapper first. Then in order to answer the question, which was how much did the tuna weigh, we're gonna have to multiply that by three. Because remember, it's three times the size. So I'll do my work right here. 208 divided by 16. Now 16 goes into 20, really nice, doesn't it? Just one time. I like the problems that we were working on in previous lessons. We need to regroup, so I end up with a remainder of four. I bring down my eight. 16 goes into 48, really nice too. Yeah, doesn't that go into three times? Three, 18, three, four, yes it does, three times, which means no remainder. So now we know the red snapper weight was 13 pounds. So that means the tuna, and we have to put 13, remember to each one of these boxes is how we, you know, and it's probably just good to do this, even if you know uh, for right now, it just kind of helps you see the problem, what we just, what we did. We took 208 and divided it by 16. Oh, what happened to you three? Oops. And that kind of helps you visualize what we're doing, how that's three times as much and that's 12 times as much. So now we just need to take 13, right? And multiply it by three, which is super easy, right? 39. So that means that the tuna weighs 39 pounds. Oh, here it is here. So the tuna weighed, yeah, 39 pounds. How can you check if your answer is correct? Great question. Well, this is what I would do. I would take my 13 pounds plus whatever the weight of the tuna and then whatever the weight and see if it gets me to the 208. All right, I'm just gonna do my, we already know the tuna, we already know the red snapper. So if we took 12, oh, this is gonna be really easy, right? 12 times 13, this is six, three, placeholder, two, one. Just multiplying, now I add 156. We can add them all together. Is 13 plus 39 plus 156 together should equal my 208 pounds. Here I have 12 and then a six, that makes 18. I carry my one in the tens column. Now I have eight, nine, 10, carry my one, I get two. Ah, oh, the beauty. I just like when that happens. How can you check if your answer is correct? So let me just write what, what we did. I could determine the weight of the sailfish and then add all of the weights together to make sure it equals 208 pounds, and I'll do my little symbol again, just because they're a little bit shorter. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Oh, we did it, man! Yes! Woo! We are the fifth grade warrior. Now, we are the fifth grade math wizards. Woohoo! Now, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this math video and all my silliness. And I really appreciate it. Please, if you aren't a sub, hey, this is your chance to sub. If you have a question, let me know. A lot of times we get back to questions and or comments. I appreciate your feedback. You guys, you rock! That's right, my friends. Now, time to say live long and prosper.